This was our view of the Gaza Strip this afternoon. Here they come. A volley of Hamas rockets arced over our heads as they flew towards the Israeli cities of Ashkelon and Ashdod. The bangs are most of them being intercepted. Most, but not all. This is where one of the rockets you've just seen fired from Gaza actually landed, at an apartment building in Ashdod, about 20 miles north of the Strip. Something like 10% of rockets get through the Iron Dome defensive system. Two people were lightly injured. Early reports that someone was stuck under rubble proved unfounded. But this is camera phone footage from under the rubble of Gaza. Speaking to his injured mother, who you can hear breathing deeply, her son pleads, don't leave me, Mama, don't leave me alone. Elsewhere in Gaza, this was the frantic effort to save a child who was buried under rubble following the deadliest single Israeli airstrike so far. It happened yesterday. Six-year-old Susie Escontana survived, but her mother and four siblings were among the 42 people who did not. As the death toll in Gaza nears 200, the international clamor for this to end is getting louder. So too are the cries from Gaza. This 10-year-old girl has become a symbol on social media. She lost eight neighbors in an airstrike. I don't know what to do, I'm just 10. Today, a team working for ITV News in Gaza tracked the child down to find out how she's coping a couple of days later. Every day, every night, I hear a bomb. I don't want to hear it. I bring my brother close to me. We sleep away from windows and doors and stuff like that. And then when we do that, I just put the pillow on top of my head so I can't hear anything. I don't want to hear any screams anymore, or any cries. It just hurts my heart. Israel's military justifications for the ongoing onslaught are becoming less convincing as the world watches Gazan civilians, including a new generation of children, suffer so much. Up, up. John Irvine, News at 10, Tel Aviv.